Three Camel Lodge is a founding member of National Geographic Unique Lodges of the World, designed to offer an elevated take on the traditional nomadic lifestyle. The lodge is set in Mongolia's Gobi Desert on the edge of Gobi Korunsehan National Park. Comprised of 40 individual cares, or felt and canvas tented dwellings, plus a main lodge designed to resemble a Buddhist temple, the lodge is a remote hideaway that is equally rugged and refined. It's been named one of the 50 best eco lodges in the world by National Geographic Traveler and was named to Condé Nast Traveler's Gold List. The lodge was the brainchild of Johnson Europe Shiro the founder and CEO of Nomadic Expeditions. He pioneered luxury adventure travel to Mongolia in 1992 and saw an immediate need for a space where sophisticated world travelers would feel at home. From the largest site, the construction and operation, sustainability is at the very core of every decision. The Gold Needle Festival is an annual festival held in October in Bayangulgi province, located in the Altai Mountains of Western Mongolia. The festival was established in 1999 by Jalsa Europe and several Kazakh locals to preserve and protect the centuries-old tradition of hunting with gold needles. All proceeds from the festival's ticket sales benefit the Berkut Association, which uses these funds to further the organization's goals. Nomad Expeditions arranges an exclusive private campsite fitted with modern amenities including bathroom tents as well as gourmet dining. During the season, there are daily flights to the Altai region. While the festival is a highlight of any visit to Mongolia, you can visit this rugged and remote region during other months, aside from the harsh winter, to interact with the hunters where travelers will learn more about training the eel and the strong bond formed between the hunters and their birds. Mongolia's largest lake by water volume, Lake Kosko extends 85 miles in length, 18 miles in width, and is fed by over 90 streams and rivers. This crystal clear alpine lake, known as Mongolia's dark blue pearl, remains untouched by industry and is situated among the most pristine forests, mountains, and meadows in the world. Travelers can enjoy nature walks, kayak on the lake, or sample Mongolian-style horseback riding. Wide open spaces, but its national parks do not disappoint. However, the beauty of the central step in Vorkhtiros National Park, where nomads camp and gazelles cross the grasslands, Comprised of the southern Hinti mountain range, this mountain, forest, steppe region provides habitat for a variety of bird and plant life. Also sheltered in this protected area are endangered musk deer and moose, brown bear, roe, elk, wolf, fox and badger. From the capital city of Ulaanbaatar, Ostan Noro National Park is home to the last remaining species of wild horse, the Taki, commonly known as Przewalski's horse. 25 years after becoming extinct in the wild, the Taki was reintroduced to the Mongolian steppe from zoo populations by the Foundation for the Preservation and Protection of the Przewalski's horse. Visit Ostan Noro and you'll learn more about the current conservation efforts and try to spot these beautiful horses in their natural habitat. Set in the Orkhon Valley, an archaeologically rich landscape of rolling grassland is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is also home to a Karakoram, the site of the 13th century capital of the Mongol Empire. The capital created by Chinggis Khan and his descendants was the largest contiguous land empire in recorded history. Once a bustling multicultural city, Karakoram was later abandoned and eventually fell into ruin. Mongolia's largest monastery, Erdinsu, was reputedly constructed from the ruins of Karakoram in the 16th century. Surrounded by over 108 stupas, Erdinsu has been a place of Buddhist activity for centuries. 
our travelers will visit the monastery grounds and observe the monks as they perform their prayers and rituals. Depending on the availability, our travelers are met by Basin Lama, the abbot of Erdenzu. The Himalaya. As soon as you mention the mountain range, most everyone thinks of Nepal. For good reason too, as Nepal offers access to 8 of the 14 highest peaks in the world, including Everest. However, the Himalayas stretch over 2,000 miles from west of Ladakh in northern India through Nepal to Sikkim, Tibet, and Bhutan. The Himalayan countries were an explorer's paradise during the 19th and the 20th centuries and remain so today. On the roof of the world, locked away for centuries, Tibet has always held a unique place in the human imagination, conjuring an unearthly realm beyond our reach. Now with daily flights from Chengdu, it's quite accessible. Infrastructure has greatly improved, good hotels have opened up, and blacktop roads allow us to visit all the important historical sites. About the size of Switzerland, but with a population of less than 800,000, Bhutan is a place of peace and natural beauty. The gross domestic happiness outweighs its GDP. The landscape consists of a succession of fantastic snow-capped peaks and deep valleys. Climbers are forbidden to climb these peaks, lest they disturb the spirits of the mountains. Abundant wildlife makes its home here, including the endangered snow leopard and the golden langur. Monasteries perch on cliff sides, connected by daily direct flights from Kathmandu, Delhi, and Bangkok. It's easy to reach too. Similar to Tibet, we obtain all necessary visas and travel permits for travelers to Bhutan too. From the southern plains bordering on India, the roads heading north begin their precipitous climb to the towering Himalayas on the border with Tibet. Here, the southern face of Everest dominates the surrounding Kumbu region, home to the renowned Sherpas. All trips to Nepal start in the bustling town of Kathmandu, housing multiple World Heritage Sites.